My 1970s Emco Unimat 3 lathe, repowered. I came up with this solution in 2005. The original motor had kicked the bucket much earlier though. The motor pulley is mounted on a spindle in the bench drill chuck. A 2 meter length of eBay 5 mil urethane belting was used. Heat joined by pressing the cut ends against a piece of heated steel and then held together. It works well. Here's the X tin can swarf card. The compound slide is a very good accessory for this lathe. I haven't used the lathe since 2008 and have just given the feed screws a good oiling. The lathe is at a good working height, making for a comfortable experience. I'm sure the health and safety types will be concerned about the exposed belt. It hasn't caused any problems so far. I got the lathe out to make some small 8VA bolts for Charles's Velvia pivots. There's a plain portion without threading to make a better bearing. I bought in a length of 1 8 AF hex brass bar for the bolts and already it's turned out to be 3 mil AF. Here's me making one bolt, start to finish. The Emco is perfect for this job, but I've done some much heavier work on it in the past. Okay, that's the end faced off. I've got my finger on the tool post holding it down. The tool isn't cutting right and kept digging in on deeper cuts. Later on I found there's no clearance angle on the front. That's been rectified since and it cuts like a dream now. But during this video it's not cutting right so I'm taking very shallow cuts like 0.05mm depth. It needs to be 2.2 mil diameter for the thread. Taking the last little bit off the diameter. Chamfering the end with a needle file. The chamfer helps start the button die. I needed to wind everything out to get the tailstock in. I'm 
pulling the headstock pulley by hand. Checking the thread size with a commercial nut. Using the junior hacksaw to part off the job. Facing the head width to 50 thou. Filing that nice 15 degree chamfer on the head. The job is belting along at about 1800 RPM. Finished. It's about 3.3 mil long for the two 1.6 mil pieces. The new bolt above a roundhead screw that I'd been using previously. Thanks for watching.